Hello, this is Jay, and here's a weekly briefing from Pangyo Techno Valley. First, here are the main news. Alfred Pets targets the U.S. market with sustainable cat litter Etiquette. Alfred Pets is introducing Etiquette, a sustainable cat litter made from coffee grounds, targeting the U.S. market with plans to distribute through major retailers like Petco and Whole Foods. Etiquette is praised for its ability to neutralize 99.5% of ammonia odors within 30 minutes, significantly improving over traditional clay-based litters. This launch aims to innovate pet care products and promote environmental responsibility, with a Kickstarter campaign for Etiquette Plus scheduled for October. Next, Jobly participates in Pan Pan Day, an open innovation day for large and medium enterprises, noted for platforms serving international students seeking employment. Jobly Inc. participated in the 8th Pan Pan Day and Open Invitation Day for large and medium enterprises at the Pangyo Startup Campus, where it showed its platform aimed at providing legal employment solutions for international students in South Korea. The platform helps international students find legal job placements and supports their visa management, aligning with the South Korean government's Study in Korea 3.0 initiative. CEO Kim hyung Ju highlighted Jobly's mission to address the high rate of illegal employment among international students, with the company plan to expand its services to major student-sending countries and foster global academic partnerships. Following this, OION leads the market with plasma air sterilization and deodorization modules equipped with automatic cleaning function. OION, a startup specializing in air sterilization and deodorization, has developed advanced plasma-based modules equipped with an automatic cleaning function, addressing common issues such as maintenance and efficiency. Having secured a spot in the TIPS and R&D project backed by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups, the company plans to broaden its application of these modules to diverse B2B sectors. It intends to enter the Japanese and American markets. CEO Kim Yong il highlights the strategic benefits of being located in Pangyo Techno Valley, enhancing OION's potential to grow into a global leader in air management technology. Next, P10 challenges global market with products improving itchiness in children, pets, and adults using plant extracts. P10, a startup specializing in skin immunity improvement, is advancing its global presence with various plant extract-based products to relieve itchiness across all ages, including children, adults, seniors, and pets. The company has successfully launched a child itch relief product as expanding to pet care with Atokong line, soon to be showcased at international expos. Additionally, P10 is developing products for seniors and athletes, leveraging its propriety extraction technology to target specific pains. It actively seeks investment to expand into markets like Singapore and Malaysia. And now, here are the headlines. Institute Pasteur Korea starts distribution of pathogens and specimens for new and variant infectious diseases to contribute to public health and enhancement. Institute Pasteur Korea has initiated the distribu distribution of pathogens and specimens from patients with new and variant infectious diseases to aid in research and response efforts and enhance the bio industry. This includes operating a pathogen resource bank for managing emerging diseases and variants. This resource availability aims to accelerate the development of diagnostic tools, vaccines, and treatments for infectious diseases, supporting public health improvements and boosting the Korean bio industry. Next, Kakoa holds the Kakoa Tech Campus Ideathon, expected to serve as a foundation for the actual service development. Kakoa hosted a two day Ideathon at the Kakoa AI campus, gathering about 190 university students to develop service ideas related to everyday life as part of its ongoing ESG initiative to balance technology education across Korea. This event marks the beginning of the final phase in a year-long program where students progress from learning development skills to creating actual services, culminating in a final presentation schedule for November. Following this, Naver unveils image and voice processing technologies based on HyperClova X Multimoda Generative AI Enhancement. Naver is set to enhance its AI model HyperClova X by integrating image and voice processing capabilities. This upgrade will transform it into a multimodal generative AI that simultaneously handles text, photos, and voice. 
It will enable Hyperclova X to perform tasks such as analyzing images and comprehending voice inputs. It will expand its applications in personal productivity tools and various neighbor services while maintaining commitment to AI safety. Thanks for listening. See you next week.